Good morning, everyone. Gonna be... Been a back testing of the five steps. I'm a little bit tired. I have to work on a video. But I haven't found the motivation just yet. We're just the five steps back testing. Only... Uh, let's do both sessions. Uh, you're a dollar... 2017, sure. I do have that history. And let's begin on after the daily, daily saving time thing. <laughs> we're gonna do GMT minus four. Or we're testing only, and though, as you know, I sometimes mess up and I should allow myself to. Be able to go back, but I'll, I think it just looks better for the video and for everyone that watches it. So you know that I can't just pause the video somehow, edited it, so it looks like I never paused the video. And just reverse and do something differently. So I think forward testing only helps a bit with that, so you don't really think that I can cheat or anything like that. Let me be looking for the five steps in between London and New York. Simply run a liquidity mark shift for rolling up and lower time from entry. Liquidity, remember for me with the five steps, all that it is, it's just a single swing high, single swing low, as long as it is as it is a clear swing high and or swing low. That's all that we go for. Not gonna be talking too much, just doing this bit of an introduction, so um Okay. So we understand. And no. And grid volume. Actually we didn't we have a template. Uh no, because we didn't actually save it as a template template. And I want notes. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we are GMT minus four, which means that we are in New York time, which means that uh, 23, I don't think the... Oh, I don't have the timings. I think it was until March 28 or something like that. So what I'll do is just skip this week. There it is. Uh, oh, I missed out on a whole day, I think. What time is this? Yeah, okay, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. So, again, to do... Two to five, we have London, which we'll be looking into, and then the New York session at around seven to ten. At uh, at eight thirty, what I will do as well is see what lows and highs we have close to us on the fifty-minute time frame, and see what happens with them. So, yeah, okay. We're going to get there. Clear run on liquidity. Nice mark shift. 15, maybe it doesn't have anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. What an aggressive move lower. Run on equal lows. Maybe a one minute entry could have happened there. Okay, have the opportunity to sell from here, also to theoretically buy from the next Fervoli gap that could be created. Swing high, swing low created. It's good enough for us to take a sell. And take profit wise, we're going for that lower low, which is more than two hours, so definitely worth remembering that. Oh no. Almost fucked it up. 
let's say 1.5 maybe that's a 1.5 i want to move my stop loss to break even come on do we actually have the 5r 43 mm, we're pretty close gotta move my stop loss to break it not interested in taking a loss after that and that's a 2r yeah 250 of the risk 500 of profit definitely and gonna close the entire position although we could close a big part of it and then allow the rest to run to take profit if we are lucky couple equal highs there currently being taken but likely would have been a break even and then a take profit okay worth noting that uh we could have tried to look for buys but as i was in the cell i wasn't really paying attention and to be fair we never really got a market shift in for belly gap unless we wanted to execute this which price takes a lot of time to actually cause that market shift so i wouldn't really call it that and tiny bit of a swing high takes liquidity five minute for belly gap i don't really like it but we will analyze it just in case Oh god, I had to mute myself, sorry. Okay, um... Let's see if it causes anything. At this point, I'm not sure how interested I'd be, and end of the session. Cool. Let's go to New York. See what we can get out of it. Um... Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at the run sales of liquidity. There is a tiny bit of a swing high here. Oh, but it's made to get it here. So no, never mind. We cannot. I was thinking about maybe being able to buy with a lower time frame interest and as the session begins based on this fair value gap, supposing that this actually, yeah, it is a fair value gap. Uh, but it was mitigated there, which means that price ranged quite a bit on it. To be fair, could have taken liquidity right now give us an entry to go higher personally want to see everything um want to see the mitigation happening inside the kills on our list and in this case we didn't get that uh that was a five minute for world cup so what's next just a five minutes a lot of sales i taken a lot of buys liquidity i was kind of taken by that but then we have this we'll see Did the one minute give us an entry? Uh, not really, unless we wanted to count the market shift to the left with this Fairbelly gap, which could be executed right now. Again, not interested in that. Would have been triggered. Would have been respected. Not really, because this would have been the execution stop loss below this low. So we save ourselves from a loss, unless we wanted to go with this stop loss all the way down there. Which would have been the safer one, of course. Can we count on uh, Ronald's liquidity, market shift, for the gap? Yes, but it's time I'm not interested in that. 50 minute order block, not really something I use, but well, it's there. Takes a bit of price of liquidity, quite a displacement lower. Interested, but to be honest, it's um, just a bit messy, you know? Uh, market shift gives us the Fervelli gap. The entry that we were discussing earlier, the buy would have failed at that point with a break even or could have been closed at a. Could have been closed at, a, at profits, of course, depending on how far it actually pulls away. The take sell side, market shifts create Fervelli gaps for us to, to buy. Oh. Sorry, that one hadn't actually closed. Quite aggressive price action, nothing for us to be doing. And 50 maybe had something? Not really. Um, it did take a lot of buy sell liquidity. But at the time, we can still look for entries inside this for value gap, which is what we'll do. 
trades into it. It's a 45. Do keep in mind that a 30 starts trading aggressively lower, which is good for us, partially due to the the fact that um we could be using the power of three concept, right? So it's trading against the trend could give us a lower time for entry and a step three that we have already. So we'll see. Just a little bit of an extra that we can add if we really want to. And zoom in more. This looks a bit messy. Uh, market shift already happened, but no fair value gap that we can actually take advantage of. Let's give it a couple more candles. There is a fair value gap there. Not really have been execute, happy executing it there. And fair value gap happened outside of the kills, outside of the market shift. Unless we wanted to count market shift to the left, that's this one, and that makes it a valid entry. And this looks like a swing high because it is a higher candle, but uh, looks a little bit weird. I don't really like it. We'll take it though because it is the five steps based on the flexibility of the fifth, not the fifth, the fourth, with the market shift to the left and the market shift to the right. We did talk about it this week. Uh, we're risking 40 ticks. So 80 will be our target. And we shall see. Again, not in love with this entry. Still makes sense either way, but um, yeah. Also, a lot of buy sell liquidity was taken. Which is never ideal when we're trying to buy. So 1.5 will be, we have 40. 80 is the full, around 70, 65, something like that. Couple of eco highs created there. Now that they're taking them really. We have the, the equal lows, we have the equal highs currently being taken. Problem is that price can easily just um go a bit higher, got a bit lower, and that bit lower could be either to continue lower, right? To then retrace, continue lower, or it could even be just this move lower just takes a lot of sales of liquidity to then maybe continue higher. That's my worry about this current couple of equal lows. Um I'm gonna move my sub loss at half just to avoid taking a full loss. And we'll see the initial reaction to this equal high has been taken. We have a little bit extra, a little bit above a 1%. We'll allow it to run. And that's my cue to get out. Even though I'm as close as I am, this time a bit of a high was taken here. Of course, I do expect price to go higher than that, not just as high as it went. But well, um, I prefer just being out. As I didn't really trust the trade too much. And actually, it was a really good decision. We have a nice couple of equal lows there that are about to be taken. And now it could cause a continuation higher, as we were discussing just a second ago. Or it could just retrace to continue going lower. And it actually continues going higher. That's why I didn't want to move my stop loss at break even at first, because it could have easily done this to then continue going higher. Um, but well, again, then it took the high, but barely, and I had either the choice to move my stop loss to break even, and just try to do my best with it, or just close it up for missing out on forty dollars of profits. So I think that's very sound risk management, and also protecting profits. You know, we're in profits; we shouldn't be really risking it all for just a couple more dollars. You know, it doesn't make sense. Let's move on to the next day. That was actually a really profitable day, a 4% overall. Definitely happy with that. I have to stop the video for a sec. Uh, oh, I actually went an extra hour. Well, oh, that's a shame. Let me... Well, let's see what we can do with London now. Alright, I think we there was actually nothing. So... Oh, no. Cool. So, 15 minutes. There's nothing. A pretty big brown sales of liquidity, but um, nothing, you know. I was looking for a ready step three. Uh, this one, unless it has a pretty large candle. Uh, no. Wake, not candle. So that means that we have nothing. We've missed out on nothing. So that's cool. Let's see what we get in the next three candles. 
I don't see a run of buys liquidity there. Run sells a liquidity, complicated market shift to the right. Mm, good, well not good per se, but an okay displacement. Um, so, let's see if it actually trips back into it, and it does immediately. I don't like it too much. To be fair, we are at discounted prices due to, uh, due to the high that we were discussing. Uh, the, the lows, sorry, that we were discussing. And also, we do have this to the left, which is a tiny bit of a range that price just traded below instead of this Fibola gap. So, we do have reasons to believe price could go higher. And theoretically, we have the five steps just, again, just basically on this. This is what I like to see, the, the blueprint, right? But ideally, the market shift would have happened there and not on this tiny bit of a high. The reason why I don't like that tiny bit of a high is because buy sell liquidity is above it. Could be taken to then aggressively go lower. And we could be into a loss in the middle, you know? So that really complicates things quite a bit. Pretty confident that we can call that a swing high that was just broken, um, which gives us the chance to buy from this for belly gap. Personally, we'll actually allow to see one more candle and see what happens with this uh, swing high. And if that's broken, then I'm going to be happy. And it wasn't. And that complicates things. Quite a bit. I'm going to discard this. I'm not going to count that as a market shift. Let's just... Okay, cool. That is a much better... Uh, this is actually higher candle, lower candle, lower candle, so... I actually don't have a swing high, I need another candle going above this high, basically. Which might make us miss out on it. But there's nothing that I can do if I don't have the rules that I want. And now we could be executing based on this swing high, uh, I'm not gonna take that. And we actually avoided a loss, nice. Okay, maybe gave us another entry. Well... Actually, give us another entry. Run sells liquidity. Press him of your market shift. Pretty clear market shift. Fair valley gap should have been executed. Missed out on it because, well, it happened in five minutes, which is quite impressive. But, uh, well, we'll take it aggressively on the market execution, even though we're missing out on it. And kind of looking to risk a little bit less, to be honest. Uh, now, we're going to keep the risk at a 1%. We're, we will talk about big profit in a sec. Uh, but I think I'm going to be happy with taking a 1% with this because up here we have approximately 1R and due to the stop loss, I just, if I'm going to be looking for 2 or 3R, it's going to be quite a large target. So let's see what it does. Okay, immediately fails. That was definitely interesting. Uh, still trading inside the same for Bali Gap. Will not take advantage of that. And pretty much it ranged after those two moves to the downside, and nothing that we could have done about it. In my opinion, an okay loss, but could have been avoided somewhat easily. So, go to on, uh, no, no, not London, New York. Um, get confused with the drawings quite a lot. So let's analyze 15 minutes. Doesn't take buy sell liquidity, and we have nothing but nothing. The five definitely takes buy sell liquidity, which leaves this tiny bit of a fair value gap there for us. All right, the run of liquidity about this couple of highs. I never like for it to have a a drawing tool, you know, a pencil. That's why I mean. Just draw that liquidity. Uh, besides from that, we have well nothing, and the move doesn't really look that promising, to be honest, which is of course not ideal. Uh, Fifteen, nothing. Race on to that. Quite aggressive price action, so it's going to be difficult for us to get an entry. Market shift for rally gap, and I'm going to execute right there. And I sell in. Stop plus will be up here. Plus four is thirty six, and I. There it is. And yeah, we're gonna sell right away. Could wait for the mitigation, you know, but 
doesn't really matter. It's a couple of ticks that we're missing out on theoretically. And target wise, we can go just below this low, which gives us a little bit less than 2R. What I'll do is target a little bit lower. And um, this is minus 36 we set. So we need 62, which is here, which is below all of those equal lows. So whenever this lows are taken, I'm going to need to either close a big amount of partials. Or move my stop loss or break even. And we'll see in the moment and if price actually gets to that. But aggressive price action, that would have actually been our trigger. Uh, okay, doesn't actually give us the chance to do much. To be fully honest, in, in, in a live market, if I was seeing that aggression, I would have closed a bit higher. But um, below those lows, because again, we're taking advantage of the aggression on it. And one more time, uh, mitigation or execution should have actually been here, which is, again, a couple of ticks higher than supposed. How many days have we back tested? There's no way we just back tested two. Is it? We have back tested just two days. Jesus. I'm really tired, so I think I'm going to cut it here. I was actually. Oh, we have an entire session to go through first. Okay. Let's go through that session through this session but um yeah pretty pretty nice profits for just two days very nice week uh actually this is a fair value to, to try to trade i think we have the run buys liquidity above this couple of highs press and move lower causes the market shift i don't like it too much so i'm gonna analyze it but i will not take anything that happens and well that kind of ready makes things much easier for us so because of that we're actually going to cut it here i'll check rapidly if anything actually shows up but i highly doubt it and nothing happens quite understandably so so that's pretty much it that was actually a pretty nice couple of days back testing a uh, lovely couple of setups the buy could have been avoided in my opinion right uh we missed out on the entry at first but at the same time the entry itself was a bit messy Direction did make sense due to the higher time frame between quotes, higher time frame analysis that we made. And but again, pretty pretty couple of good trades with five steps that I definitely like to see. So that's pretty much it. Um I never know if this actually works. But um okay. Hope you enjoyed. Be talking to you on the next one.